Well, I was 19 on the tree and I ran a 92.5. Uh, I walked the throttle a few times, killed 10 mile an hour, so I was on a 89.5. One of the hardest things is, you know, I get back to the trailer and the first person I want to call is my dad. Um, so I called my sister instead and we cried. <laughs> we were so happy. So it was good. Happy with it. Congratulations. Thank you. Keep it going. We got to buy tomorrow, mor tomorrow morning and then uh, I'll be down. Uh, well, there's five cars left then. So. Okay, I'm going to walk up. I'll check them one more time. Here's one of those slips. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I got it. So here's one of those slips. I was 006 to her 15 on the tree. I thought I was taking the stripe. I was 93-1 to her 92-2. She finished three ten thousandths ahead of me, which is equivalent to maybe an inch. Maybe. Maybe an inch. So I lost, I was on the losing end, which is all right. So you're telling me an inch. I didn't do a bad job, but I could have taken a little bit more stripe. And I never did. I never did take the stripe. An I inch has been cursing you your entire life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> who's in and who's out? All right. So Chris just lost by like I don't know a couple centimeters, I'd say. Um, Donnie's still in, and then I'm still in. I gotta buy tomorrow, so I'll get a free lap tomorrow, which will be nice starting out in the morning, and then, yeah, that's it. Woo! Woo! All right, let's roll. What's going on? Well, I just had my buy run. I was 18, I ran an 87.4 or 87.6, I don't know. I expected it was going to be about two and a half fast according to the wind predictions. Um, so we'll see what we do here. We're down to five cars. Hoping we can get by this round and make it down to three. today we got the uh, bugs gone logos being cut out and printed so uh, I thought we'd go and see that process and uh, the cutting and the, and the printing and all is pretty cool deal so and we're at an RPM graphics it's in Rogers and not too far from my shop so it's easy to run up here and get get stuff and so let's go through and see everybody see there so here's our lobby area I make all sorts of printed signs and yeah, they do a lot of graphic stuff here. So we'll go in the back and see what they're doing. All right, yeah. Chuck is laying out the red. We're gonna cut the seafoam ball out of that. Alex is working on the, this big machine, whatever that is. So that'll be coming out of there pretty soon. He's gonna laminate it and cut it. All right, the sea foam ball is done, so Chuck's gonna start weeding it. <coughs> this is the fun part, right? Yeah, for about four minutes, then right. it gets really old. It's like when you learn how to mow the lawn. It's fun the first two times. Yeah, then do 9,000 more after this, please.
second question? Yeah, I think we're good if we roll that way. home last Thursday from our trip to Las Vegas and I got home and this Saturday we had to uh, get the motor put in the top sports from Malibu Steve Stockton driver of it came up uh, we got the old motor tore out uh, we're in the process of getting the new one put in now uh, no rest for the wicked I guess is what they say uh, got got our main guy Dave on it my dad uh, he's the one behind all of this keeping this top sportsman and the whole entire team going uh, We'll give you some insight on what we're doing here. Steve's getting the mid plate, front motor plate cleaned up. Dave's gotten the, the old motor out, got it on an engine dolly. We got the uh, front end all cleaned up. As you can see, getting ready for the new motor to go in. APD did a phenomenal job on our program. We're uh, hoping to qualify this year. Uh, last year, unfortunately, we were only able to be alternates in a few races. So this year we wanted to make sure we uh, could get in the show and collect points. I'd like to see Steve make a top 10 appearance in the world points this year in top sportsman, providing we can get the car to go down the track and work well. We're going to get the fuel system flowed here in the next week or two and get all our tune-up stuff done right. As you can see... We got the shop in a mess, but uh, sometimes that's what it takes to keep things going. Uh, we got a new wrap put on the car for this season. It all scrunched down now. Oh. No problem. Piece of cake? Yeah. <laughs> no problem. So, in the process of putting in our new blower motor from APD, uh, we also decided we're going to go ahead and try to fit a much larger tire in here as far as height and a little bit more width. To do that, we're going to pull the rear differential out of here, uh, take it out and have it narrowed. How far are we going to narrow it, Steve? I think about two and a half inches. Per side. Uh, along with that comes axles we're gonna have to replace our axles uh, we were hoping maybe the splines were long enough to where we could lob them off but uh, unfortunately that's not the case but uh, we'll call Mark Williams and see if they can get us uh, some axles built in the next week or two hopefully uh, we're gonna send the rear end out like I said and get that narrowed and uh, we're going to go to a double beadlock race star with a 4 inch backspace 16 by 16 wheel. And we're going to put the Hoosier C1550 uh, tire on it, which will give us at least, I don't know, I think it's uh, 8 to 12 inches of tire diameter, taller. Um, I think that's the number. Is that about? Roll out. Roll yeah. out. That was close though. Yeah. Uh, which we're going to need with this combination we're running or we're going to have to change the rear end gear. But for now, we're just going to, um, you know, see if we can't get the 16, the C1550 under it so we can get the taller tire and not change the gear ratio. But uh, that's what we're up to here. We'll keep you updated. You know I'm going to use that. What, Matt? Okay. I said, you know I'm going to use that. Was there a shorter header bolt laying around? There was just one short one. Not that I know. There, there was a short one because okay. I left the short one out. So the short one probably goes right here. Okay. There's a short one somewhere. Do you have any issues with that too? There's a because there's a short bolt. We got to find the short bolt. I didn't think there was any short. There bolts. was one short bolt. There, there was. Uh, I'm not disagreeing with you. Because I laid them all out this morning. There, there was a short bolt. He's got three bolts in them, so I don't know where the other ones are. There wasn't any short bolts. Did you look at them on the bench? I laid them out this morning, there was one short bolt.
This header requires one short one. Can you read that in the footnotes? Yeah. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm just laughing. This ain't orange coating choppers. I would don't. It ain't, it dude, ain't, it ain't orange get orange out of my mind. I was literally just about I to got say. I ESPN. It's we're, orange county choppers here all the time. Uh, we were about to. We were, we're just one wrong move away from Paul Senior and Junior blowout. <laughs> I was, literally had that in my it head. It ain't true. Did you find it or no? No, but it's oh, it's here because I laid them out and I looked at them. Why, why do you think there's a door dinger on the wall over there? Because <laughs> my dad gets wound up. He always has to play up for order. Someone has to be the perfectionist around here. Huh? Yep. <laughs> I want that pump running with nothing in it. I know, we're good. What are we doing? Oh, we're firing up for the first time. What is it? It's a 540 cubic inch from APD. It's got an 871 XR1 blower on it. Uh, made about 1900 horse on the dyno. Uh, we just got her put back together for the first time. Uh, we're just doing a first fire up on it. Uh, we're checking for fuel leaks. We found a little fuel leak here. Which one? I thought it was this one. On the bottom or the top? I thought it was the bottom one, bottom part. I thought. I don't know why that would be though. That's not coming loose. I think that's kind of where it was I need another 716s. The lithium batteries cranked her right up. Cranked her right up. Our first test pass at the uh, Top Sports of Malibu, Steve Stockton's here. Uh, chassis was out of cert, so we're just going to do a little 60 foot hit, uh, burnout and stuff, make sure the car's going straight and stuff. Uh, you excited, Steve? Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited, yeah. Hopefully, we, at least we can learn something here, see if it's going to go straight or if we got to make some adjustments and, and be ready to go this afternoon. Perfect. We'll keep you posted. We'll do a little follow up after this, this pass and we'll let you know how it goes.
pulling spark plugs here. Steve's just taking a look at them, see if our fuel tune-up is pretty close, which it's looking like it. So when he gets this last spark plug out, we'll uh, we'll take a look at it, show the camera what it looks like. What do you see right. here, Steve? Looks like we're burnt about two thirds of the way around there, halfway, something like that. So we'll we'll take this, we'll compare this with, with the other uh, seven plugs and see if it matches our EGTs and uh, make a couple of changes on a few cylinders here to try to even it out a little bit more. So, so like this is fair. Like I know nothing about what we're looking at here. I mean, I'd, I'd say that's plenty, plenty safe. We're not hurting it right there. Okay. I mean, this was just an eighth mile run, so. We, we might want to end up needing a little more fuel, a quarter mile, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah.